Got another sweet pepper for you called Violet Sparkle. Real pretty plant, real pretty fruit. So we're going to get started on transplanting these out into uh, the bigger pots and we'll see you out over at the planting table. Right, I'm going to only put in two of these plants because this other one, he's, he's kind of puny. I don't, I don't think he's going to make it. So I'm going to go with these two real good ones. So let me get these transplanted and I'll be right back. Two little boys planted in the bigger pots. We're going to uh, harden them off out here on the hardening table for a week or two. And then we'll be right back and we'll put them out there in the earth garden and watch these progress all the way up until we pull the fruits and we'll take a look at them together so stick around we'll see you back in a couple weeks okay. here's our violet sparkle sweet peppers I just brought them out of the house so I can harden them off for about four or five days as soon as they harden off we'll put them out in the earth garden so we'll see you back here in about a week but when we get ready to uh, go out to the earth garden and plant our sweet peppers um, I want you to take a look at a uh, video it's on our playlist and Nancy will put a, um, a link to it at the end of this video and the name of that video is how to grow sweet peppers and it shows you the process I go through of prepping the ground and installing the, the, the bamboo canes two foot canes how to put the, um, the wire cage around the pepper to support it from wind how to use fish as a fertilizer and how to cut that up and put it in the hole. I get this from my local bait and tackle shop. You can get it at any bait and tackle shop or if you got a fresh fish market near you, go up there and ask them if you can have all their heads and guts. They usually just give that to you for free and you got free fertilizer. But that's what I use and also some garden lime which I, I get this at Lowe's. It's pretty cheap. It's less than 10 bucks for a 40 pound bag and 40 pounds will last you quite a while. So use that. So um, use these items and um, go take a look at that video to show you exactly how to, to install all this. Well, we've had our uh, sweet peppers installed in the garden for about a month and had a real rough spring. High winds, cool temperatures, overcast skies, and a lot of rain for four weeks. So our um, sweet peppers have struggled, but the last week we've had real pretty sun. It's starting to warm up, and I think they're starting to come to life. So we're gonna take a look at where they're at. The first month was a hard one for them, but they made it, and we'll see how they do in the days ahead. And I think once the, now that the weather's warming up they're uh, they're going to really explode so let's uh, go out in the garden and take a look at how they're looking well i wanted to show you the violet sparkle it's uh putting on fruit and this is uh, one of those um sweet peppers it, it's not like the traditional generic bell pepper you see in the store where they all start out green then they turn yellow and then they turn red these start out yellow and they will ripen to purple so We'll take a little close look right here. You can see the fruits. You see how it's put on several fruit and they're all yellow and you can even see little tiny sparkles of purple inside of it. And as this matures further, it'll turn um, purple. So we'll be back in a few weeks ahead as soon as that ripens up the rest of the way and we'll take another look at them. See you soon. Well, our, vi our violet sparkle has started to mature and ripen, and I wanted to pick some of them today and um, take them over here to the harvest table and wash them off a little bit and let you see them up close. So I'll meet you over at the harvest table.
Aren't these beautiful? They have that different, different uh, degrees of ripeness here. Here's a, here's a real pretty one, I like that. But you can see the, how the violet sparkles through there. See how the sparkles are in? It's all the little sparkles in, into the skin. Beautiful. The violet sparkles, they're a beautiful little kind of a teardrop shaped pepper. They're not as quite as big as the other, the bell peppers you're used to seeing in the store, but boy, they got a sweet taste to them and um, they're kind of pretty. They look good in your foods. So we thank you for watching our videos and if you like our videos, subscribe to our channel, be a part of our YouTube family. And um, if you haven't tried the Violet Sparkle Sweet Pepper, you might want to give this a place in your garden this year. So until we see you next time, always remember, by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.